Individual A and individual B owned 100% of Corp X. A owned 900 shares, representing 90%, and B owned 100 shares, representing 10%. Corp X redeemed out 750 of its shares held by A in exchange for cash, so A surrendered 750 shares. After the redemption, A owned 150 shares and B owned 100 shares. So A owned 60% of the shares of Corp X and B owned 40% of the shares of Corp X. Pursuant to the Articles of Incorporation of Corp X and the laws of its state, a holder of over 50% of the X stock controlled X's day-to-day -day affairs through the Board of Directors, and a holder of 66.67% of the X stock controlled broader corporate decisions, such as those regarding corporate liquidation, merger, or disposition of substantial amounts of operating assets. In order to qualify as not essentially equivalent to a dividend within the meaning of Section 302b1, a redemption must result in a meaningful reduction of the shareholder's proportionate interest in the corporation. The redemption did not reduce A's voting rights in Corp X to 50% or less. Although A surrendered the ability to individually control those corporate decisions requiring a 66.67% vote, A has retained control of the day-to-day -day affairs of Corp X. The redemption by Corp X of A's stock did not constitute a meaningful reduction in A's interest in Corp X. Accordingly, the redemption did not qualify as a distribution not essentially equivalent to a dividend under Section 302b1, and therefore it was not a distribution in full payment in exchange for the X stock under Section 302a. Thus, under Section 302d, the redemption was a distribution of property to which Section 301 applies, such as a dividend.